Schools across the region are making plans for the April 8th solar eclipse, with many planning to let students out early. News 5's Caleb Perney joining us now live in the studio, and he asked local schools why. So, Caleb, what'd you find out? Yeah, Rebecca, it's a rare opportunity to see a total solar eclipse over the United States. It last happened in 2017, but the next won't be for more than two decades. Local schools say their decision all comes down to timing. In our region, the partial eclipse runs from just before 2 p.m. until just before 4.30 p.m. The maximum eclipse right as many schools typically release for the day. We thought it would be best and the safest choice to go ahead and dismiss early so that we don't have um, our students outside and possibly looking at the sun um, during dismissal. That's paired with looking back at what happened in 2017. We went back and looked at that attendance data and the early withdrawals from parents. And we found that an overwhelming number of parents wanted to experience the event with their children. ETSU professor Gary Henson says, if you're watching at home, you'll want to have Eclipse glasses. We do not recommend just trying to use smoky glass or uh, welder's glass or things that might look like they're opaque. Uh, because uh, your eye also doesn't tend to have the nerve endings that sense when it's being damaged. He also showed me another option that you can make at home. Poke a small pinhole into a piece of foil to project the sun onto a piece of paper. You'll see a small little white disc, which is the sun's image. And as the eclipse progresses, you'll actually see a bite taken out of that for the whole process. But the path of the total solar eclipse will not reach the Tri-Cities, topping out at 88%. Henson says it's a huge difference. If you're able to make that trip, I keep telling people it is an absolute mind-blowing, crazy spiritual experience for most everyone that has ever witnessed a total solar eclipse. Uh, and for them to be so rare and so easy to access, uh, it's uh, certainly worth the, the opportunity if you can make it. Several school systems instead plan to host viewing parties with students in class. Now, regardless of whether classes continue or are canceled, many schools are also giving students free Eclipse glasses. You can see a full list of your school's plans for April the 8th on our homepage at WCYB.com.